monkey poop coffee. <laughs> this is how the other half is living, okay? You know, like you get hired as a seed picking person. Bird poop coffee. <laughs> This is a celebration of human creativity. It's in my veins, this magic bean, and now I face the world unclean. But wait a minute, you're probably asking, but Peter, what does it taste like? And I will tell you, Eric. Oh. Okay, all right. But Are you okay, Peter? What's that? This is my, my favorite blend. You know, Eric, you know, caffeine is a natural accident. Caffeine brings you to the bathroom. Why are you still drinking coffee in the bathroom? I want to just make sure that I take care of everything when I'm here. It's, uh, it's optimizing my, my schedule. You want some? Sure. Oh. Ah. Okay. All right. Here you go. Right under the, under the stall door. See under my the hand? Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Welcome to the Flush Podcast, where we try to solve the mysteries of life from the bathroom. I'm Peter. And I'm Eric. And this coffee is amazing. Apparently, uh, National Coffee Day is, is every September 29th. So oh, wow. Mark your calendars. Because I think we've all dealt with, like, you have some coffee, and then suddenly, you know, there's this super urge to use the bathroom. It, what happens with caffeine is... It activates contractions in your colon and intestinal muscles. I, I looked up on this. So. Do you think this is mental, though? No, I don't know. It's not. So there, there've been, you know, there've been studies and such, but so, so they can physically see that, like, there's a reaction happening, which, like, what I said is like the colon and intestinal muscles, but and that pushes uh, contents towards your rectum. <laughs> <laughs> studies have found that. As a natural laxative, uh, caffeine is 60% more active than water. An average cup has, from from what I read up, is has about 150 milligrams of caffeine in it. An average cup. They didn't um, know that. I didn't know that. <clears throat> yep. It, uh, apparently, the studies also found that it doesn't affect everybody. So, you may be one of those people that it doesn't, like, make changes to, but... Well, what about drinking coffee at night? Will that keep you awake? Yeah. Okay. Well, so I saw, I read up on myths about coffee as well. And that is also a myth uh, to some extent. So like, so yes, if you drink a coffee at night, like, yeah, it can keep you up because caffeine, but you know, there's a myth that like, well, if you drink a coffee at say like three or 4 PM, um, coffee only takes about a, a couple hours to get out of your system. So, so you could take, you could drink a coffee at, I mean, you could probably drink a coffee later, like seven or eight, I think. And then like a couple hours, it gets, it'll get out of your system in a couple hours. So there, so there's that myth. And then there's another myth of uh, coffee d does not dehydrate you. Studies have shown that it, there's, there's no change in, in sort of like the urine that they, of the average coffee drinker and somebody who wasn't drinking coffee. Another myth that um, coffee helps you lose weight. Uh, it doesn't, it does slightly help your metabolism, but it's not enough to make any significant changes. E Eric, I wrote, I, I love coffee so much that I, I wrote a poem about it called Ode to Coffee. And can, can you get your guitar real quick? I don't know Let how me, you know that I have my guitar with you me. You always have it with you. Okay, here we go. All right, ready? One. Okay. Okay, ready? Wait, wait, wait. One, you want like upbeat two. or? Let's go upbeat with a with a slight depression but not because we're about to have coffee so okay. okay one two three i can feel the caffeine taking hold my thoughts my writing no longer cold it's in my veins this magic bean and now i face the world unclean but what a world now to see in here and the universe gets close, my dear. Coffee, coffee, friend or foe. Coffee, coffee, never go. And the music, oh. That's, that, well, beautiful. beautiful. That was rehearsed. Eric, the, the more fascinating subject of coffee, which is what I really wanted to talk about, is that 
Coffee cherries, if digested in an animal, changes the physiology of the and the, and the taste of the coffee. So it's kind of a tr- trend to have coffee from animals. Do you know about this much? No. Shit coffee? Shit coffee, yes. So coffee cherries are, are ingested by animals. So the, the, the more popular coffee is from the Asian palm civet, which is like a, like a little jungle cat, I guess. So there, <laughs> so a, a unique fermentation <laughs> takes they place. They force feed this poor cat. Yeah, they, that's the that's kind of the tragic part about the 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 civet situation is that they're they're as humans do. We mass produce it, so the so they're they're kept in cages and they're for and they're fed this the coffee cherries and just only the coffee cherries, and then the humans collect their their poop and then they sell it, and it's it's this expensive coffee. Sounds like a coffee. really bad uh, comic book story. Eric, this is how the other half is living. Okay, uh... you know do do you want to be do you want to be considered a aristocrat? Not you if know, I have want... to drink shit coffee. No. <laughs> okay, so apparently in the fermentation, it, it so the, it reduces the acidity and bitterness and makes the coffee easier, um, easier on us in the long run. Where's my dog, Rocco? <laughs> my feed him coffee and send you a bag. See how you like it. Rocco coffee. Rocco coffee. Well, there's different types. So, uh, as I said, the uh, the oh, civet wow. is wow, different yeah, types of shit this coffee, monkey poop coffee. <laughs> so, in in India and Taiwan, monkeys will you know chew up and spit out these coffee beans, uh, and then humans will go and pick them up. So, it's called monkey poop coffee, but it doesn't have anything to do with their poop, from what I looked into. Then so why does they, it say it? It's a good question. I don't know. Maybe it's just for fun, but this one has nothing to do with poop. It doesn't sound like fun. And and in a lot of these cases with these animals that I'll go through here is um, animals instinctively are picking the best cherries. So so they found that the monkeys are are picking the the they instinctively pick the sweetest and ripest coffee cherries. Huh. So it's like a it's like they're doing the work for the humans. But what ends up happening is you know the, also the 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 saliva from the monkey cha- changes the uh the coffee i don't know how exactly but well you say, really looked into this Peter. yeah i looked into it i got really deep into it the taste you might ask yourself what does it taste like what it, i'm told is it tastes it has a citrus taste Ew. and it has a chocolate <laughs> it has a chocolatey natural chocolate. vanilla taste to it yeah yeah so the next the next one is wild batshit coffee. And as the name sounds it's it's so it's bats from the Brunca region of Costa Rica. And so like like with the monkeys, a bats choose the best beans. The bat shit is collected and you know harvest. The bats nibble and extract the sugars from the cherries, and so the bean is exposed to the the, the digestive acids. Uh, so in this, the bat nibbles on the on the cherry and extracts the sugar. The bat it basically exposes the bean to the digestive acids, and then Eric, you go on, you know, sift through the. And then poop. I go to San Francisco and buy the bat shit crazy coffee <clears throat> because I'm sure they yeah. sell it in San Francisco. But you might be asking yourself, Eric, what does wild bat shit coffee taste like? Well, I'll tell you. It is smooth and sweet with wow. a pleasant aftertaste. Uh-huh. And it and it has a fruity and floral taste with light acidity. So you force a bat to eat coffee beans so you can enjoy a nice cup of joe in now, the morning. Now, this will cost you $230 per pound. Well, fuck you. Peter. I, I I will say the monkey the monkey poop will cost you 320 per pound. Will you be able to Notice the difference, Peter? Apparently so. I bet that's what uh, Paris Hilton drinks. Probably, yeah. <laughs> the other, again, the other half, this is what the other half drinks. So let's move on. The next on our list is bird poop coffee. <laughs> oh, 
How? So it, there's a little, a slight history to this. So um, <laughs> a person by the name of Henrik Slopper woke up one morning in 2009 to an invasion of Jakku birds eating his, caf- uh, co- eating his coffee plantation. The birds were picking the best cherries. You know, they, they digested it. And of course, this guy was like, aha, let me, I'm noticing that they're picking the best, just like the other animals. They're picking the best cherries. Uh, this could be a gold mine. <laughs> no, no, and, no. And that's where bird poop coffee got no. its origin. You see, Peter, yeah. that's... It's what the internet told me. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure that it, but this, it can't be just a, a coincidence or... It, this, it, this is not like, oh, look at what I've discovered. Uh, bear poop coffee is it? No, no. <laughs> I don't know if this is one of those like r- people that are rich things, you know, like, oh, I- if you want to have the best, you have to have the worst. But you want the best coffee? It's shit coffee. And some guy's laughing all the way to, you know, when you said that, that it's uh, $230 per pound, then I'm like, okay, nobody's going to pay that. Absolutely no, sir. nobody no, sir. except this... the 1%. This so, will cost you three hundred and thirty dollars per pound for bird poop coffee. All right, excellent. So seven we know, times the normal price of, of of normal coffee. So we know that only rich people are gonna. But hold treat. on, let me let me try to double sell this to you. All right. This coffee quickly digests through the bird, and the birds have all veggie diets. So so this so so it has a more refined taste when it emerges but wait a minute you're probably asking but peter what does it taste like and i will tell you eric it has a full-bodied and mild you know a pleasant taste it has a nutty dusty sweetness like honey there's a hint of brown bread molasses milk chocolate no way that's what you get ah that's good Hey, do you know the difference between a Merlot and a Cabernet uh, or a Riesling and a Sauvignon Blanc? Do you know the difference between those? Not really. Do you think 90% or 99% of the of the population knows the difference between a Riesling and a, and a Sauvignon I, Blanc? I want to I say no. All right. So who is this made for? <laughs> It's made for somebody who can sip it and be like, I have made it. I am drinking bird poop coffee. I Look at me. Look around me. I have truly made it. This is $330 per pound, <laughs> seven <laughs> times more than a normal coffee. It, it, the plebs, all the plebs are drinking pumpkin spice. Not me. I'm drinking bird poop coffee. That's right. You've made it. Moving on, moving on to our final uh, uh animal poop coffee that I could find. (laughs) This one is black ivory elephant poop coffee. (coughs) Now this is the most rare at $500 per pound. I don't understand why, because that will be the most logistically speaking, like one elephant can produce massive amounts of poop. Yeah. Instead of like a rare black robin in the Amazon or a, a howling monkey poop or whatever it, it, it was, like a, an elephant can shit enough coffee for a small town. So okay. you're, you know, you're, you're, you're asking me why you should buy this out. Let me tell you why, okay? Uh, well, these elephants, they're, they're allegedly, uh, they're well cared for. They, they, what happens is they mix uh, the coffee cherry with bananas and rice. And so it's a little harder to <laughs> sift through and find the cherries. So obviously that, you know, comes with a higher price tag. It's, it's, uh, it's, so it's more rare. But hold on, though. We haven't even talked about the taste of this black ivory elephant poop coffee. Oh, do tell, Peter. <laughs> do tell. The taste is a... Malt, chocolate, floral, kind of cherry, tobacco, leather. Floral. There's a hint. There's a hint of grass, apparently, and there's no bitterness. From what I've researched, there's no bitterness. Peter, ba- you just threw everything at me. 
You, I know. You, two, I know. you said it's a floral, bitter, sweet, dark leather. I don't know leather. I don't know what leather, leather tastes like. Cigar smelling <laughs> tobacco. Grass, I, these, tobacco. I'm just researching this. I don't know what. I don't know what leather and tobacco would taste like in a coffee, but <laughs> I see you as like. Uh, doing this job like collecting the shit <laughs> you know that's what i was thinking it's like how much do they get paid i wonder no i i you know what i wonder is what do you put in a resume or or the application itself like uh, when you go fill out the application and you're like i would love to be a bad shit uh, gatherer and you're like this is your job you just have to like go through the shit and see yeah. where the seats are and you're like, okay, every shit? Well, I guess you're going to have to go through every shit. Yeah, Eric, we here at uh, Coffee Animals, Animal Coffees, <laughs> we uh, we strive for excellence. I see in your resume that uh, that you collected monkey poop. Well, we we deal in bat shit, so... Oh, that's much harder. We are, as we say in the business, we are bat shit crazy for this coffee. <laughs> 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 uh, you're fired. Get out of here. Wow. Wait, I didn't even hire you in this no. role play all right so you think that maybe this was maybe somebody said something to a coffee maker and said you know uh, maybe if you put the coffee in shit <laughs> the acidic acids or something in the shit will make the coffee kind of like uh i don't know more potent or something is it necessary? Was it necessary to like include animals into this maniacal way production of doing coffee, or is it like a, a, I mean, do you know the difference? You know, like those people are like, oh, I tasted this coffee it's from the regions of blah blah blah, and and it's, it was you know fermented. I, I it's called defecation delight. Yeah, defecation <laughs> delight. No, I don't I, I think some guy is jerking off to the thought of people drinking his shit tiger coffee or I, whatever. Eric, let me spin a positive for you. This is a celebration of human creativity. Is you know, it Peter? I, look, I could imagine this job is is like, you know, like they say with um people that do um gar- garbage um you know, trash pickups. It's a, it's a job that I think n- not many people want to do and therefore pays the most probably. So this is, so again, this is how the other half lives. They, they digest animal, you know, animal coffee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Now I do, I wonder what does human coffee taste like? Is there human coffee? Well, I bet <laughs> if you, uh, if you go into the dark web, you can uh, find some. Let me, do, let me actually do a quick Google search. Mm-hmm. Be careful, Peter. Yeah. All right. So as far as human poop coffee goes, there's not a lot of cases of it, but um, somebody was selling the human poop coffee uh, at one point. <laughs> there is a what it tastes like from what this person says is, it tastes like jasmine and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I found, so apparently a guy on Craigslist, there's not much about it, but a guy on Craigslist uh, was selling his human poop coffee. So there is a future for you, Eric. He said he was selling it at $30 a pound. And he said, quote, in time for the holidays. Uh, so yeah, that's that's all the research I got on on animal poop coffee. You know that that is a lot of research. It is a it is a fascinating subject, and my Google search, I think I'm on the FBI list now. My my thing is trying everything. So you would try? It. I would try it. I would definitely try it. You know, National Coffee Day, go in the bathroom, drink some coffee, mm-hmm. make some money, get those natural laxatives going, natural natural processes going. Do you want any more of this elephant poop coffee? No, thank you. You sure? I I'm, thought I'm it was pumpkin another. spice. I'm gonna. Ma- I I just I just ingested a bunch of those ch- uh, coffee cherries. I'm gonna shit gold, Eric. Sell for thousands. Wait, so you have a espresso machine and a laptop in your stall? Well, I have an elephant in my stall pooping uh, the 
the stuff. I have to sift through this shit wow. and pull out these cherries and, you know, and the, the, these coffee beans and grind it. It's, it's a process, Eric. It's a process. For more mysteries of life through the lens of the bathroom, visit theflush.com or anywhere you get your podcasts.